Hey, what's up everyone? This is DCSG81 and today we'll look into the So this is the Star Wars the Black Series Emperor Palpatine Okay, so this is my very very first uh, black series from the uh, Star Wars that uh, I actually got them for myself um, All my Star Wars are as you have expected is from the SH figures <coughs> So so far they have not made the Emperor Palpatine and then Just don't ask me why I get this. I really really have no intention and I don't even know this existed so when I go to the shop uh, the they just place this on the counter and once i have a look on it i just can't stop myself um yeah i think he actually controlled my mind during that time like buy me buy me you know so uh i just can't help it uh mostly it's because i am lacking of this bad guy this <laughs> mind controller the sit uh the sit cloth so i have the um i have Actually, I, I'm I'm a big fan of the the villains of Star Wars like Darth Vader or Darth Maul. You know, the the Sith more. I I like the Sith more than the Jedi's. So this guy is like the you know the big guys behind. So it's a must have. So um when I saw him with uh, three different heads as well as the uh, Force and the throne. I think the throne is the one that pushed me. To, to, to get it I I just want the throne it looks so badass okay and uh, this is an exclusive um, the shop told me so um so yep this is my first one and uh, it's an exclusive so I was thinking why not okay so uh, let's take a look at the box okay so as I mentioned I'm I don't have any black series before but I've seen some so as usual the box uh, design is mostly black and red okay so um, I think this is uh, pretty standard but I have not seen one that is so big before usually their box are pretty thin because I um, mean this one comes with the throne so of course they have to make a bigger ones and so um, the design I think is pretty much the same except for this one uh, I think it, it have uh, more heads than usual this is not just the uh, interchangeable face I can see the full head scalp at the side uh, no sorry from here you can actually see it's the full head so I I was thinking wow I mean it's not that bad after all so it comes with a throne and three heads so what small can you ask right so this is um there's nothing here okay and uh, there's a side here okay and at the back there are of course some information about Emperor Palpatine you can actually take a look here or pause the screen if you want to read it yep so it's looking pretty good so let's open this guy up Okay, so I have taken it out from the box, but I have not taken it out from the plastic. Just want to show you guys how good it looks. You know, the, the I mean, I would just like to just keep it this way. <laughs> it looks so nice. I just don't want to mess it up. I'm just kidding. I'm just going to take it out, okay? Just give me a moment. Okay, so this is the figure right out of the box. Let's take a closer look. So from what we can see, even from the box, um, the, another reason that I am attracted to it is they are using a real cloth as his uh, robe so it's looking very very good i mean uh i don't know what's the standard of quality for the backs are uh, the black series because i haven't got any yet but still so far i'm setting my expectations pretty average i'm not setting it as high as i have for the sh figuarts so uh but i can say that they are actually pretty good so uh from the look of it um this is something that amazed me i'm not sure how they actually 
uh, make the the cake to to actually have this this form is very very nice but i thought they actually uh, sew it that way but it doesn't seem so there are some there's something that they did the way that they designed the cloth is forever on this this kind of uh, shape so that it looks very good like you just partly hide his face just like in the movie or if you want to uh, review it you can but the, the cloth doesn't lose its shapes you can easily just cover it back you know it's looking very good so let's take a look at the heads of course there are another two, another two heads which i will share with you guys uh, on the accessory portion so let's take a look at this head first yep it's looking very good and the cloth can actually be opened up to reveal the the plastic inside so there are um, two pieces of cloth one is the overall uh, rope that you can see here or tunic or i'm not sure what you guys call it and then there's another piece here that looks like a skirt <laughs> you know a long skirt that actually covers from the lower half to the legs so the entire legs is covered and of course when you lift it up they are still uh, pants inside but it's of course it's a plastic okay so it uh this one pretty much will restrict the articulation i can see but as an emperor emperor uh, palpatine i don't think he will do those uh high kick or split or anything like that so because he's a pretty old guy so he will just walk <laughs> just stand around or walk he although he does jump around when he's fighting with uh yoda so but i don't think he uh other than that he won't do a flying kick or upper kick or you know those kind of things so even from here i saw that the hands are actually pretty well done you can see that he's having this how do you call it the um you know like how the those old people have blisters or like it's the imperfections on their skin so they're actually doing that even on the figure you can see on these hands as well okay can you see looks like just an old man's hand even though it's hidden beneath i mean they can just get away by giving a normal hands without uh extra pains for those blister but they still does it anyway so it looks very very good i mean i'm kind of surprised by the level of um, quality and uh, details for this uh, black series all this while i thought the black series is not i mean as compared to sh figures i think they are actually um more affordable so i was thinking their quality maybe it's just a so-so level but this emperor palpatine actually uh, surprised me they actually did a pretty good one but of course, we should go in further and take a look at the articulations. Okay, so for the articulation, I'll start with the head as usual. So I'll pull up the, to show the head. So he can look up pretty much like this much. Look down pretty much as well. Turning left and right, no problem. The neck is one piece, there's no articulations. Okay, so as for the hands, you can see that um, we can pretty much do a 90 degree. Okay, uh, there's an arm shiver, but it's just look, it does feel a little fragile, <laughs> I'll say. Okay, double joint elbow, pretty much. Okay, and of course the hands are, in, you can turn the hands, but you can't move it up and down, I think. Uh, yep, you can pretty much turn it side by side. Can you see? but no up and down because there's a joint here it's for turning left and right okay pretty weird but i think that will do for the torso i am not expecting any articulations just a turning okay and for the legs since um like i mentioned earlier it will be pretty much restricted by this uh fabric here so you can't do a split i don't think he actually have a leg shovel here then there's a double jointed elbow I'm sorry, the, uh, double jointed knee. Okay. And there's a uh, leg joint as well. But there's no toe hinge. Yep. <coughs> so the articulation is pretty much limited. 
but I would say it's sufficient enough for uh, this Emperor Palpatine because um, basically you will just have him standing around or just sitting on the throne okay let's get into the uh, accessories okay so for the accessory he doesn't come with much but to me I think he comes with everything okay so um I'm going to uh, say that the rope itself is actually a piece of accessory because it can be removed but of course you won't remove it because he will look weird without this uh, rope so uh, yeah I'm just going to show you guys that it can be open like I showed you just now but it also can be uh, closed there's a there's a thing here you see this yeah, this is for you to actually tuck in to one of the place here that has a hole Yep, it should look something like this once it's on. Okay. So other than this uh, rope that I consider as an accessory, of course he comes with a walking stick, which is pretty well done, I would say. Although it's just a pure black paint. Does it have, I mean, is it black in the movie or is it brown? I don't remember it. Black, because black this looks very weird to me as a walking stick because I mean it's supposed to be brown or dark brown right but I mean it actually looks very well because he's actually kind of in all black <laughs> okay and then he have the uh, what do you call this the electric force is it <laughs> yeah so he uh, at first because on the box you can just see the uh, something like this so I was thinking, I was looking for the hands and I don't see any hands there so I was worried that they will just give the um, electric and then it will be something that they might have something here to to just connect to this hand but this hand doesn't look like it's meant for electric so I thought they were just ah uh, you know when you put it on it, you, you can't even see the finger so it doesn't matter yeah so only after I open it up just now I saw the hands are actually molded together so it's pretty cool that they actually I mean give together as a as a piece of accessory with the hands because I thought they are saving on the hands and just thinking of putting it on these hands which will be very weird so it looks very good the hands you can see looks kind of scary actually <laughs> okay and then how can we forget the head the heads Okay, so the three heads are pretty much different. You can see the one that's on the figure is uh, having a very neutral expressions, and uh, the middle one is the one that is, of course, when he is using the electrical, he's angry, you know, like die, you know, when he's um, killing uh, Nick Fury. <laughs> I forgot his name in the in the Jedi mode. The uh, yeah, the Samuel R. Jackson character, yeah. And then this one is the one that he's um, laughing. And also, yeah, I would like to mention that if you are consider to buy this set, do uh, look into the eyes on the box because uh, I actually have few boxes to choose from. There are a few that I saw, especially on this smiling head. The the eyes are actually having the crazy eyes again like the left is looking left and the right is looking right so this one I actually choose pretty long and I think this one looks okay see so it's something like Marvel Legend that you really have to uh, just take a look at it although you might say that his head is under the hood most of the time so maybe it doesn't matter but if you are those like me who <laughs> wants the eyes to look okay then you better have a look okay so that's all for the accessory of course there's the bigger one that's the throne i will review it right now okay so this is the throne and i have uh, it surprised me in two aspects i'll tell you guys later so let's just take a look at it my god it just look very very good and very detailed um i'm not a huge hardcore Star Wars, fan, uh, Star Wars fans so I'm not sure how accurate it is but to me this looks very very good and uh, details you, first thing that you can see that they actually have this uh, design whereby one part of this is actually pointing out 
so I'm not sure how accurate it is I believe it, it, it should be accurate otherwise they will just make both sides the same why, why would they bother to make extra things like this right and then the the, the remote that they she have is pretty accurate I'm not, I mean pretty detailed you can see although it's just a red paint but the buttons are there and then this thing here looking very very good okay and the two aspect that actually surprised me is this purple color seat is not a hard plastic it's actually soft plastic my god i mean they can just make a hard plastic i mean it doesn't matter right but this is actually soft it's very good when i when i hold it i was like wow okay i thought this is just a hard the whole thing is a plastic but this is something like a how do you put like a sponge very very soft okay and the second thing that surprised me is this actually is movable okay so i thought you know the, i mean so long that you want to move you can move the whole thing right but no you can you see i can hold it down and it still move wow so it, this actually surprised me it's a pretty good one although the one i have uh have a few like it's not really smooth you have, can see some scratches around and here no biggie i mean it looks okay so i'm very happy with this this throne itself is is the main point i'm getting this figure i, I just like my figure to have a throne you know something like Thanos. he i made actually made a throne for Thanos last time um looks okay but <laughs> i mean if you don't expect much it actually looks okay so i can show it to you guys if you want to see it in my next video uh, just leave me a comment if you want to see it yep so i'm a big fan of uh big guy i mean bad guys in on throne so it looks very very good okay okay so as for the size comparison as i mentioned earlier all my star wars are actually from the sh frequats so we actually have the uh, episode one uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi um, this is uh, from episode uh, from SH Figuarts um, the ropes are actually custom I actually buy it from eBay if you guys are interested just drop me a message I'll let you know where I got it and of course the uh, episode 3 uh, Anakin the, the one that he's turned evil and uh, this is also from SH Figuarts and the rope are actually buying together okay so let me know if you are interested to buy it Okay, so next we have the ladies here. I have the SH Figuarts Ray as well as the SH Figuarts Princess Leia. Okay, so lastly I have the Dark Vader with him, and this time I actually felt that the scale are pretty right because the Vader is a very tall guy. And this Dark Vader is not from SH Figuarts. I got this very very long ago. I don't even remember what brand it is, um, but it's looking very good. I think it's also from Hasbro and um, the especially the cloth here you can see that it actually looks pretty good but the articulation of course is not as good as the uh, SH Figuarts and the, the thing that I like most is actually you can remove the head the helmet to reveal the, the head which looks very very good during that time I think this one was I got this also very very long ago at least uh probably around 10 years ago if i'm not wrong so maybe during that time there isn't any black series <laughs> yet <laughs> so this is a very old reader should i pre-order the sh figuarts one um that i'm waiting for it to be released so that one should looks pretty good as well i'll come i'll do a review for that reader once i got it okay okay so my final verdict for this guy is uh i would like to go through the uh, each and every aspect of it first um the first one of course is the overall overall look i think the uh, cloth they are using the cloth uh, as well as uh, two pieces of it uh, i think this is a plus point um it's a very good that they actually thought of that and like i mentioned the the rope or the hood can actually stay on the ships for it uh, i think it's another plus point so it actually improved the overall looks a lot on this one is it's being done very very well i would say and also the skin that i mentioned they actually do some extra 
just for it to look like an old man skin this is another plus point so it's very good so as for the articulation is limited but to me it's fine because Emperor Palpatine um, to me he doesn't have to have any dynamic poses like flying kick or anything like that so of course the lower body is already been restricted um, because of the cloth material yeah you can't really do a sp spread on him or even a flying kick so I think that's fine you know it, I mean except for the fight with Yoda that he's been jumping around you know like uh, other than that I don't think he will pose him doing those kind of thing he's either standing still uh, doing the electric things or he's just sitting on the throne yep so the articulation I think is okay yeah you, you can still do pretty much what he, he does so that's good as well and as for the accessories uh, like I mentioned he doesn't come with much but to me he comes with everything that you needed from the Emperor Palpatine so that one is uh, another full full marks as well uh, especially the throne is very very good that you can see just now so overall the skill wise i think is okay if you feel that he's too tall you can just let him sit on the throne he still looks fine so this is a to me this is actually a 10 out of 10 correct uh figures yep um because i like i say i ha have not gotten any black series before so i'm actually having a pretty low expectation so this one actually surpassed a lot than my expectation so i'm giving him a 10 out of 10 okay so if you are a star wars fans i think you shouldn't miss this one i truly recommend this this is a good figure and um yep so just get it guys and okay so i hope you like this video uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it um leave me a comment if you like to know more or you, if you like to share more information that i i said wrongly earlier and also subscribe to my channel if you like my content so far until then i'll speak to you guys real soon bye